Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. It's been a while, it's always been a while hasn't it? And um, I've had uh, three, got laid low for three weeks by the you know what thing that I caught um, since the last time we spoke. Um, Dave went to some uh, conference in London that turned out to be a super spreader event. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, I'm back today and um, something completely new to show you and that is my Troll Beads collection. So, um, long story short, about 12 years ago I decided to treat myself to a Troll Beads bracelet and I bought the bracelet and I bought some um, beads, or charms and they are fantastically expensive in my view. I think they're about the same price as Pandora but... Troll beads are kind of a bit more, I don't know, arty and weird. Um, they're Danish, I think I'm right in saying. And anyway, I decided that to collect them and then I decided they were a bit expensive and I don't know, life just passed me by. I've always loved my things. I've always gone to my jewellery box and stared at them and looked at them, but I didn't really like wearing the bracelet when it only had a few charms on. They kind of just hang down one end. So... Um, or even in the middle. Even if I bought stoppers, they're just the bracelet would be a bit weirdly weighted. So anyway, I've had them for a, for a long time, and I love looking at them, and I've never regretted buying them. But I've never worn the bracelet because it's been too empty. Until now, um, Dave asked me what I wanted for Christmas. Dave's got like a really good job now, and uh, I said I'd like some troll beads, and he said, "Okay, I'll tell me which ones you want." And I said to him, well, I'm going to get some for myself because they're very dear. But if you get some as well, that, that'll fill up my bracelet quite nicely. So he said, well, why don't I just buy them all, all the ones you want? I said, no, they're dear. He was like, you're my wife. It's Christmas. Um, <laughs> just tell me which ones you want. So I told him which ones I wanted and we bought them. And then, I don't know. Because I hadn't had to buy any, I thought afterwards, you know what, I could get some more. <laughs> so I've got a lot of troll beads to show you. These are old ones. This is called an armadillo bead. This one's called China. It's like a limited edition um, that doesn't really match the others, but I didn't care because I love it. Um, don't know what that one was called. That's obviously Cupid or a cherub. Um, this bracelet... Is about 17 centimeters long I think and then this lock is called the flower lock and um, it's silver they're all 95 silver they're all marked and it you can change out so you can use the bracelet with different kinds of locks and you've got this little system for uh, for doing it so anyway let's crack on and I'll show you the rest of my troll beads and there's a lot and look I've been watching other troll bead youtubers because I want to make sure to do it right and uh, they all use this, like some sort of a little rod to put the beads on. So let's see if that works. Um, the boxes are very... I'm just cracking on. The boxes are really nice. They all come in these. Look at this. It's so cool. And inside is the bead. And I will tell you what these beads are called. Some I know, some I'll have to look. This one's called Mamma Mia. Let's put it on there. This is... Oh, there you go. Um, this one's called Mamma Mia. And it was um, it was a Mother's Day bead actually, so now they're on sale. So I got this one for like half price, which is really good, and it's so pretty. Um, some people arrange, you know, I mean, once I get a decent collection, I could have like a blue bracelet or a green bracelet, sort of swap it around nautical, I don't know. But at the moment, um, I'm just having very random beads, and I love that. I don't mind that at all. Um, this one is called Halloween Queen. Look at that and keep it still for long enough i don't i think i might try and fix the focus on here we'll rock the beads in and out but it's hard to focus when things are all over the place this is called halloween queen and as you can see she kind of flops around but when she's on the bracelet i face her downwards on my wrist it looks fine because my neighbor was like that's gonna annoy the hell out of me <laughs> but it's fine um, here's the third one We've got 10, so look, we're already on the third one. This is called Moon, I think. Something to do with the moon. Hang on, I'm going to check on my list. Um, so professional. 
blue blue moonstone there you go i'm looking at my computer so sorry if i disappear to look let's get that in focus blue moonstone and has this like some of their beads have this three-dimensional quality which is pretty fun um I wonder if I'm going to keep these all on to the end of the video or if some of them are just going to drop off that end by accident. <laughs> um, okay, here we have another one. Oh, so satisfying. Um, this one is... Oh, I love this one. It's called Love Conch. <laughs> it sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> but it isn't. Um, it's very detailed. It's got a piece of seaweed. And actually, I'm going to put it up the other way because I prefer it the other way. Excuse me. And look at that lovely shells. Really pretty, that one. Love conch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next one. No, I've honestly, no other troll beads YouTubers laugh at rude things that they've made up in their own head. Okay, this one is called Nature something i was disappointed with the speed i've got to be honest with you it's um i mean they're all handcrafted and murano glass and everything but to me this one's got too many little oddities about it um i don't know i was just a little bit disappointed with that one but, but if you go in the shop you can look at them but if you order them online like i did you can't okay this one is called nature dream and um i don't know it's all right. Again, my na I showed my neighbour and he said, he said, well, I, just, I really like that one. It's trying to annoy me because I don't like it too much. <laughs> uh, this one's called Blue and Light Blue and Gold or something <laughs> inventive. And it, um, that's 24, car 24 karat gold, I think, in there. And that's, that's pretty and luxurious and everything. See, look, they're really fun. And honestly, that does hang better when it's on your wrist. And they'll be added to all of those other ones too. I think it weighs quite a lot. I'm going to put a safety chain on it. Oh, here's another Oh, dear, I did that off camera for all the people who are loving it. Let's have a look. Um, this one is called Flow. I was so excited when I got this bead. It already looks great um, on the... Uh, on the website but it looks even better in real life i absolutely love this i think it looks just so good it's a focusing nightmare doing this video by the way <laughs> as you probably you probably all feel seasick so look how cool they are you don't have to put them in any particular order um i was i i'm quite uh I have a mind where I like to put like one glass, one silver, one glass, one silver, but there's absolutely no need to do that. And actually it's better if you have some glass ones next to each other. Okay, we're down to the last three. What's this one? Um, oh, okay. This one's called Positive Change, I think. And it's a small, a small spacer bead, which ideally I think I would have a glass one in between these two. <laughs> <laughs> completely in contrast to what I just said but there you go um, another one penultimate bead here guys oh this one's called oh I love this one I'm going to put it up the other end because I'm getting too much silver in the line ah I knew that would happen no <laughs> this I've not seen anyone else do this so <laughs> Oh, all right. This one is called Paradox, and look, it looks like a butterfly, but in the uh, it's got a skull in the middle, and then these crossbones in the pattern, and then the other side it's got a heart. Love Paradox. I got so excited about it, I dropped all my beads. <laughs> and last but not least, this one. It's not easy to be me you know <laughs> and this is called the aurora bead i think i'm right in saying i knew that off by heart and again very very pretty another flower bead and they will go whoops see if i can do this 
they'll go really well with the beads that I've already got. Oops. Ah! <laughs> oh, sorry for the snort. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to go and pick all these beads up off the floor now. And, um, yeah, troll bees, <laughs> treat yourself. Why? <laughs> thank you for watching um like subscribe leave your comments and questions down below i love you all bye bye